How was it, Tessa? It was amazing. How'd those hoses work for you? Good, but I cannot stand this weight. <laughs> okay, come on up then. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're actually going to be customizing my daughter's reg set. Now we've recently changed her reg set out. She's decided that the reg that she had was a little bit too heavy for her, um, so she wanted a, a much lighter reg. So we've actually went from the Epic 82X back to a Marius 12S, but we're going with the MV second stages. So this is actually an older style reg set. Um, it's one that I used for many years traveling, but we're going to let her uh, use it and we're going to take it a little step further and we're going to customize with custom length hoses and colors. So we got her several different pink and purple hoses here and even her low pressure hose, or I'm sorry, her high pressure hose is custom length too. So we're going to be installing custom length hoses on it and just making it more hers. And so hopefully she'll be a lot better diver underwater and more importantly, be a little bit safer and a little bit more comfortable. So with that being said, she's taking off all the hoses now, and we're going to get these new ones installed and see how they look. All right, now what we're doing, Tessa? We are taking all the second stages off of the regulators. So we already got the hoses off the first stage. Now we're disconnecting the second stages, right? Right. Cool deal. And it's most important you have the right size wrenches to loosen it. Absolutely. All right, got that one off. Let's go ahead and get the primary off as well. We could even do a custom length bungee necklace for you too, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. We might do that. There you go. Perfect. All right, we got any more to take off? Yeah, we got to take off this one. The gauges? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and pop them off. Twist. Nope, you'll have to hold that little cup one right there. So hold it with one hand, twist it with the other one. There you go. And do you want, it's completely up to you, do you want to reuse this boot when we put the new hose in? Kind of protects the gauge a little bit in case it yeah. gets beaten bang. So we'll put the boot back on for you, right? Right. Cool deal. All right, let's go ahead and get the hoses out. All right, which ones that go on? The yellow one. Okay, so that's your alternate. Yep. All right, so let's screw it on there. Screw it towards me. There you go. Right, screw it all the way down, then we'll get them tightened once we get everything put back together. Okay. Alright, go ahead and do your primary. Yep. Easy enough, right? Mm -hmm. How hard is this? Easy or hard? Easy. Easy, that's right. And we'll get everything tightened down here shortly. Okay, okay now we got to hook up our gauges. Let's see if you can get it back in the boot. 
Actually, I tell you what, leave it out because we got to tighten that one down as well. All right, now that we got everything attached to one end of the hose, now let's work on the first stage end. Go ahead and find your high pressure hose. And where does it go on your first stage? B H. Uh, which which port is that? The. Uh, mm. Is that your high pressure port? Yeah. So we're what are we looking for on the first stage? The high pressure. The HP, correct. The HP. High pressure. We'll just tighten it down as best we can, then we'll take a wrench to it. Okay. okay. Now let's go to our primary. And the primary is actually going to go in the DFC port, DFC. which stands for Dynamic Flow Control. So can you find the DFC port? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Yep, you'll have to spin the whole hose. Figure out how to. Got it. Got it? Mm -hmm. Alright, find your alternate. And this one's going to go right next to your high, the one you just did. Here, let's hold it up, make it a lot easier. Okay. All right, now get your low pressure hose, goes to your low pressure inflator. And it's gonna go on the same side as your high pressure hose did. Oh, Daddy dropped it. Got it on there? Okay, now we're going to take a number 14 and we're going to tighten them all down. Which way do I? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Am I doing it? Alright, just go to it stops. All right, put it back on there. Do it. Get you another bite. Nope, you're not on the. Oh. Put it on that part there. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Now move over to the next one. Okay, turn it towards you just a little bit. The wrench. Nope, tilt the wrench towards you. There you go. Now turn it towards me. Perfect. All right, move over to the next one. Okay, get another bite. Oh, I'm turning it down. I got it. Nope, that's loosening. Okay, get another bite on it. All right, get another bite. Get over the top of those there. There you go. All right, and the last one. All right, get another bite. Another bite. There we go. We ready to hook it to our gear and go jump in and see what it looks like? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's go dive. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, Tessa, we got it to your all new custom hoses. We even got you a new custom necklace there. <laughs> Are you ready to go get in the water? Oh, heck yeah. Let's go. All right, let's do it, girl. Come on. How was it, Tessa? It was amazing. How'd those hoses work for you? Good. But I cannot stand this weight. <laughs> okay, come on up then. All right, so there you go, guys. Her maiden voyage on our brand new custom hoses. 
you can see she's over here getting her uh, stuff broke down now but if you're thinking about getting your kids into scuba don't skimp on gear with them guys think about yourself you want the best of the best when you go to buy your own gear and when you buy gear for your children if you just buy a cheap rig out there and you don't really customize it for them they're not going to have an enjoyable time they are going to have those entanglement hazards and they're your kids you just put a price tag on your kids life don't be that kind of diver especially if you are an experienced diver you'll really understand where i come from but guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't be afraid to customize your gear. Go out there and get the colors that make it yours. It doesn't really matter the length. If you're gonna be a long hose diver or just a, a standard recreational diver, you know, customize it up, okay? Especially for kids. They'll enjoy it a lot better and they'll be uh, more likely to stay with this sport, which makes your investment as a parent a lot better than just spending money and they never do it again. But guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you think Tessa did a good job building her own reg set here, give me a big thumbs up for that as well. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Got this off. Good job.